Now, we don't take too kindly to comments from around these parts, so I'm gonna give you one chance. Leave now. Last chance. Can I get one? Good. What is it? No, nothing. What is that? That's for you. It's huge. Yes, it is. You got me the suppressor that I wanted? Happy birthday, dude. That's amazing. Thanks, bro. Dude, you earned it. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I'm here with the king of YouTube, Roman Atwood. The king of podcasting, Come Roman on, Atwood. Man. We just actually just filmed a really good podcast that's going up. Actually, you'll, you'll see that one before you see this. So go check it out, Goldberg, me, and Roman on the podcast. And we also have the Tech 9. Have you ever seen one of these? Right now is my first time. I mean, you've probably seen this thing in like Grand Theft Auto. It's an Intratech 9mm. I actually didn't look up the date on these things, but they haven't made them in a long time. These are old guns. I used to have one. There is a Tech 9 video on this channel, but it was back in my early days where I had to buy a gun and then sell it so I can get a new gun. And so I actually sold it and I missed it because I had a Tech 9 that actually works good because some of them don't. We actually bought another one, just now bought it. And I think it was like 900 bucks, which hurts, because this is just a very plain Jane, kind of junky pistol. Half of them jam all the time, and uh, they're just becoming collectibles now, and so they're getting more expensive. But we have a Tech 9 again, finally. My life is complete. Roman has never shot a Tech 9 before, and he won't get to today, because today <laughs> we're going to find out can Roman Atwood dodge a bullet been dodging bullets my whole life <laughs> actually we are gonna do a, a little can you dodge a bullet test let me show you how we have this set up right here we have pretty boy he is a pretty boy and we are i was gonna shoot at roman but roman was like scared well stuff. i have kids now yeah so gotta take that into consideration touche so here's the way i could figure this would be the safest way to shoot at a person <laughs> So, Demonetized. <laughs> we have a rope tied to him. It goes to a pulley here, and then it goes a hundred yards back. And so my thought is, I mean, if someone shoots at you point blank, you don't have enough time to get out of the way. But what if someone shoots at you from a hundred yards away? There is some some lag time in the air while that bullet's flying, where you could jump out of the way. Now I know the comments are going to say, Matt, by the time the sound gets you and you know it's been shot, you've already been shot. But we're going to do it based on the thought that you are looking at him. He's pointing a gun at you. You have your hands up and you see fire. You see it, that he just fired that gun, and you go, whoa, and you jump out of the way. And we're gonna see if we can make this guy not get hit by a bullet. When I shoot at people, I shoot where I think they're gonna jump. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a penalty <laughs> kick in soccer. You, you, don't, you know, they're gonna move, so you gotta try to anticipate where they're gonna move. So, I so how's shoot. this work, Matt? Bang! Ripped his head off. Pretty boy! <laughs> Pretty boy? All right, he did not get shot, but he got decapitated on this <laughs> T-post. Pro probably would have been better if he just took the bullet. <laughs> now he's headless. All right, we're going to start shooting the slowest bullets first. So we got some subsonic 22 long rifle. See if he can dodge that. And then we'll move up from there into a little bit speedier bullets. This is something I was just curious of. I really have no idea if it'll work. Um, we may hit him with every single bullet. And it's like, yeah, you can't dodge a bullet at 100 yards. Because the guy shooting the gun is going to have the jump. So he's going to shoot first, and this guy's going to have to react. Or whoever's next to us. Um, Hope you make this it. This mascara is a little messed up. Pretty boy. Is this how the Chinese see us Americans? Is he crying? Like, this dude's 6'4 with mascara. Yeah. Is that how the Chinese see us? Yeah. I'm in. We're good looking, man. I'm kind of hot. Same, dude. You want to take Texas. a water break? Yeah. Let's do that. All right. Cheers, bro. What, you, what are you doing? Uh, well, there's this cool website um, that I found. It's like an auction site, and they work with all kinds of brands and wholesalers and inventory liquidators, and they buy all kinds of stuff, like excess items, and then they're able to sell it off at auction at like crazy deals. Wait, what is it? It's called Deal Dash. How's it work? Uh, well, it was pretty sweet. So you buy bid packs and you join the bidding war, and then once you run out, you can either buy more bid packs uh, to use on the item, or you can do, use the buy it now, and you can get the item immediately. So if you choose buy it now, what happens to all the bids? Uh, you get them all back to use on the next thing that you want to bid on. Dang. 
It's super easy. Check this. I'm going to bid on this watch. See, all the bids begin at $0 and each bid makes the price go up by a penny. The auction clock restarts to 10 seconds every time someone bids. If you place the bid and no one else bids before the clock runs out, you win. Dude, I love this stuff. I'm going to download the app now. Wait, right now Deal Dash is hooking up my viewers and friends with 100 free bids on your first bid back purchase. Go to DealDash.com slash Demolition Ranch and use code Demolition Ranch to check it out. Thanks to Deal Dash for sponsoring this episode of Demolition Ranch. Alright, let's finish this video. So first up, we are shooting a 22 long rifle subsonic out of this Christensen. Um, Roman has the rope. I'm firing through a chronograph so we can actually see how fast these bullets are going. Speed, we actually fired a bullet just now to see if the chronograph was working. It is 810 feet per second. Speed of sound is about 1100 feet per second. Um, and then, uh, which is like, what do we say? Like 700 miles an hour. So it's pretty fast, but the bullet- At that speed though, you have almost half a second to get out of the way. I don't know if that's true. If we're at 300 feet and you're shooting 800 feet per second, Right? I can't do that math. I don't know. It's, You'll it's hear. Nearly half. There's a delay between and ding. So I'm going to first fire at the little red target over to the side. Don't pull on this one, Roman, so you can kind of see. We'll see how this uh, chronograph works. And you'll hear a ding. So 763 feet per second. Yeah, that, that's almost Dude, that's, half a second to get there. That's fast. That's enough time to get out of the way. I think so. <gasps> So this guy, this is assuming this guy is, he knows I'm about to fire and he is ready to jump. I mean, his hands are up. Yeah. Are you ready? Okay, I pull slack out? I, I, I'm worried about pulling him over before. Yeah, because we got to get the slack out. There's, at 100 yards, there's a lot of spring in this rope. Is it stuck on the I mean, I feel like I'm pulling pretty darn hard. No, you, all right, you ready? We're going to try it. We marked, he had some bullet holes in him already. We marked every one of them with a little dot. So we should be able to tell if there's a new bullet I just hole. don't know if I'm actually slacked out or if it's just... All right, are you ready? All right, here we go. Good. I think he got hit. He definitely got <laughs> you hit. You could hear it. Was it was like, pop. It was like, tonk. <laughs> I basically moved him when he got hit. Let's go check him out and see if he's dead. <laughs> if he was actually down there trying to dodge, I think you could have done it. There was so much delay and like give in the rope. We should have got a cable. It was on me. It was on me. It could have it, it could have dodged that one. We also maybe can give uh, the puller the jump because right now the gun has the jump, which we have to wait on your reaction time too. Then all the give and the rope. You okay? This Atwood rope. Oh yeah, we hit him right here. There it is. Right in the crotch. You would aim for the crotch. <laughs> you know what it was? I was aiming here, but we have a hundred yards with a subsonic oh, twenty-two, yeah. so it dropped a lot. Yep, that is a hit. Right in the leg. We're gonna do, I think, same one again. We're gonna try to get Roman a little faster this time. Can I just explain, we're holding, the only tension I have is this piece of tape, right? So, I'm all the way down there, and if I pull too hard, I'm gonna break the tape. Knock him over too early. And if I don't pull hard enough, I have too much slack. We did not think. This, this is a good. completely scientific uh, test with zero variables. Uh, it is perfect science, if you will. Same deal, subsonic, I get the jump. He's gonna try to pull as much slack out as possible. Oh. Yeah, we got him for sure. It's literally- <laughs> I heard it. Probably the most realistic, hit and then move. Cause there's- <laughs> Yeah, as slow as that is. There's so much delay. I pull here and he doesn't move until I'm like here. We've also thought about doing it to where we like I don't have the jump to where it's we both go at the same time like we make something like a shot timer where it goes off and he pulls the same time I'm firing because right now I have the advantage and so far I've won two out of zero I can't talk two out of two let's go I'm pretty precise we got first hit there second hit there that one is this is that was the second one right two crotch shots yeah that, that one's for sure for moral artery right there um but it's gonna be a slow bleed as far as femoral artery bleeds go. Just for the fun on that drop, where are you aiming? I was aiming okay. center mass. I actually tried to aim higher that time, but I'm also standing doing this yeah, and yeah, trying course. to shoot at a certain time. So it, that, I tried aiming higher, but it may have just been, I pulled it again. foot drop. Yeah. You want to try both going at the same time? Yeah. So where I don't have the advantage? Or do you think you can go fast? Or let's just switch. You shoot, I'll pull. Okay. I, yeah. I think I'm just faster. All the ropes off the ground, I'm ready. Fire one ready. Dude, I heard you it dodged hit. dodged it. I think I dodged or it. Or it went straight through. Whew. I didn't hear it hit. I heard it hit the metal, but not the man. So I heard it hit the metal. Let's go see what we got.
These are our first two shots. I think we still nicked him in the pelvis right here. So what, did it just go through and still hit the plate? Yeah, because you can see it. We were oh, hitting. yeah. It'll we probably line right up. Yeah, we didn't look at the plate on this other one. These are our first two shots. You can tell they're right at that level there. Yeah. And this is our other one, right at that level. Which may mean you. I hit him on the way down. Yeah, I think he was going. Because, yep. Yeah. What a, huh? I don't know. That's a tough one. But either way, he has a new bullet hole in his hip that he did not have before. So we have still not been able to dodge a bullet. We're going to go ahead and move up to something bigger, though. It's going to be about the same speed because they're still subsonics. But it would be easier for us to see what's happening True. down here. So far, big fail. Shooting the Intratech Tech 9 now. We haven't fired it yet. The guy we bought it from said it runs good, but that's what they all say. Uh, so these things are just, they blow back. I mean, they have this huge chunk of metal and a spring that's all it is there's no gas nothing like that no roller delayed it is just boom and flies back and ejects and shoves the next round in there so big heavy gun mag is up in front of the trigger whereas if you have like a normal pistol most of the mags are in the grip they call that the magwell this magwell is up in front like an air 15 which just makes for a very big bulky design but it looks cool Looks awesome. We're gonna. Right. Did it load? I mean, oh yeah, we got one in the chamber. This is actually your safety right here, so theoretically it should not fire. Good to go. Now we're on fire. Uh, they do have little rudimentary sights. <laughs> you don't need those on a Tech Nine. This is not made for accuracy. So I'll, I'll shoot one with the sights. Dude, I think it freaking worked. Dude, if I got a fully. Functioning Tech 9. I'm gonna be so pumped. Oh my god. I'm even hitting things with it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's a Tech 9. Uh, yeah, there's there's one in there. Okay, we're good to go. Roman. Give me. Rack it in there. See what you got. All right, mag dump. Yeah! That was, uh, you're out? Dude, one jam and a whole mag, that is a mint Tech 9 right there. Dude, I'm so pumped about this. <laughs> My other one jammed every once in a while too, but like mostly ran good like that. And we also haven't put any oil in this thing or anything. So once we get her lubed up, oh man. Gotta have the loot, man. That's so, kind of the... I, I like this more than like an HK. I freaking love Tech 9s. I don't know why. They're just so cool. All right, let's put another mag in and rip it up again. See if we can make it through a whole mag. Zero jams. No loot. Right, I got like 15 rounds loaded in here. Oh, yeah. That feels, that feels right. That's why it jammed. We had it straight up and down. I want people, like I want my, my kids even, like to remember me with this gun. Like this is just, this is Matt Carrick all the way. Tech 9, all the way. <laughs> Garantham, you'd be like EBR, you know, like, but Matt Carrick or freaking Tech 9 <laughs> that mostly runs. Actually, let's see if I can even hit long range of this thing. Who knows where it's gonna go. I'm gonna shoot at the little red target down to the right of our, our buddy. So that's 100 yards, oh my gosh. That's a hit. All right, three out of five. Dude, favorite gun in the collection right here. Break yourself, fool. Yes! All right, yeah, this gun's badass. Roman's pulling. Firing subsonic now. Those are supers we were shooting. This is gonna be sub. It's still gonna be very loud because we don't have a suppressor on it. Um, also, in the comments. Do they make suppressors for this crazy looking barrel with the weird threads? I used to have a barrel extension for mine, but it was not a suppressor. I also feel like not pulling here is probably safer. If he just doesn't move? Yeah. I'll just miss him. Is that, that, that in itself is an experiment. If you just stand still, would you have got shot? All right, you ready? Um, yeah, I am firing. I didn't hear any ding or anything. Did you hear anything? <laughs> no, it's maybe so he just absorbed it. Yeah. 
either I missed or, no, I would have never missed for one. Right there, through the half inch AR500 steel, that was that <laughs> subsonic nine, that's where it went. Dude, I don't see. It's cause I missed. Or I think the wind, the wind took it. Um, well, he's got a belly button now. Curvature of the earth. That's probably, that dent that's it. is where Just I hit. Subsonic nines don't really do much. All right, uh, we should have got a gun that was more accurate. Did you check this accurate. area really good? You should check that area really good. You can... Smells fine. Well, we are foolproof. There's no way to miss. Using a table. We switched to the Which... CZ Scorpion. This is uh, this is a guaranteed hit. It's up to you to dodge. Yeah, not a problem. So CZ Scorpion's got a red dot. It's dialed in. We practiced, shot it off camera. We're on a table now. And I'm going to yank this thing. You got this. Yep. Oh, I saw. All right, we're ready. Safe, pretty boy, dude. I got it's it. It's up dude. to you. Ain't no problem. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, slow. Straight through his gut. <laughs> I even like. Ugh, and I was like. Ugh. All right. So that was 752, which is about what the 22 was doing. <laughs> They're slow. That is, that is a slow moving bullet. That was a subsonic, and I still there's. Pretty boy could just get up real quick and let us know if he's all right. I mean, here's the hit. It definitely. Oh, that's Dang, it. That's definitely yeah. it. Yeah, here's the exit wound. That's probably not Woo! We are killing his femoral arteries today. I, w I was aiming about here. We've been doing the slowest bullets first because we're like, well, let's try slow and see if we can dodge those and we'll move to faster. I thought we'd be able to move to faster. We, we've hit every single one. We have no chance of getting out of the way. All right, same, same bullet, same gun, but... We, you don't have an advantage. Shooter doesn't have advantage. We both go at the same time. Okay. See what we can do. All right. I like that. Where's his head? All right, this is going to be the closest that we've had together. We're going to do a countdown. She's going to make a sound back there, and we're going to go at the same time. So we're going to have a little meet, and whenever we hear that, we both go. And I'm going so fast. So I think we just, whenever you get on target and say you're ready, okay. you randomly give us a beep. I'm ready. Oh! Dude, we might have done it. Oh! We might have done it. Oh! <laughs> There's so much give in that <laughs> rope. Yeah, you started here. You're all the way back yeah. there. 801 on that one. That was going a little faster. Before we show him, we've clearly, if he dodged it, we will know today. That was a solid shot. That's, if he doesn't have a hole. <laughs> Hey! We dodged a bullet! We dodged a bullet! Hey, there's no hole in him. He would have a big fat hole there. Yeah, because he was right here. Yeah, there's nothing. Well, obviously... It can be done. Science proves <laughs> you can dodge a bullet. Perfect science, I would say. If you knew exactly when they were going to fire. <laughs> so now we put a supersonic in there. This thing says 1,200 feet per second on it. Which our last one, subsonic, was 801. So this thing should be about 50% faster. 400 feet per second faster. That's faster than the speed of sound, which is around 1100. I'm ready. Eh. Oh, you cheated. I went at eh. I know, you went so fast. You were like, <laughs> oh, I was. Oh, that was really fast. I And you hit it. I heard it hit, but I bet he has a bullet hole in him. <laughs> that seems so. Oh, look at this. 1300. Wow. That's 500 feet per second faster than our subsonic. That thing was moving. That's the whole range almost doubled yeah. in speed. Almost. I mean, yeah. That's Plus. fast. That's fast. I bet he has a bullet hole in him. That was a good shot. Dead center on the on the plate, but that should have been like right here if he was still there. Was he? See anything on the we missed it? I mean, where's his arm? Did, oh, did that hit his neck? Did we blow his arm off? No, there's no way. Did we not hit him? Oh, no, it's right there. Oh. <laughs> it's tiny. So he was moving he out was of the way. He, he was, was on the move. He was on the move. He was going, it looks like. I guess the video will tell the, the story, but it looks like he was going and got shot right as he leaned over. I mean, I think that tells you right there. At 100 yards, you cannot dodge a bullet. There is no way. Because no one's going to shoot a subsonic at you, and you're not going to know exactly when they're going to shoot. At that speed, that amount of movement probably makes sense. Yeah. Like, that's your reaction. That's 100 yards. That, like, most shootings don't happen at 100 yards. Nope. Not accurately. Dang it. I was just really hoping that I could be, like, a bad guy breaks in my house, and I'm just like, I see him shoot, I go, whoosh, 
and we're good, you know, and then I counter. It uh, happened in the matrix. But here we are. F physics you can just is a limiting time. factor. I can slow down time and just not that much, you know, like a little <laughs> Not bit. enough. Oh, look at this. There it is. Whoa. It's sitting right there. That hit something sideways. Yeah, this is... And I doubt that body happened. is enough to turn it sideways. That is a 9mm, but probably not from today. I don't think there's any reason to keep testing. We brought a few other guns that were going to get faster and faster, but like... If you can't dodge this... You can't dodge you can't a 9mm. Yeah, like... AR-15s are going half again faster than a 9mm. I was really hoping to come prove some science to y'all that y'all didn't know, but everybody's going to be like... Oh yeah, Matt, look, you can't dodge a bullet. We already Duh. knew that. Anybody can dodge a nine mil. Yeah. The real test is 50 <laughs> BMG. Um, this is a subsonic, fit. no, it's not. <laughs> it's very supersonic. This thing goes boom. So uh, it's the fastest bullet by far, probably it's like three times, four times faster almost. It's almost four times faster than our subs we were doing earlier. Sheesh. Probably, we're gonna see. We're gonna fire it straight through this chronograph and see what it does. And I am going to, let her rip, dude. Oh, that sound is nice. I'm going to, I'm going to actually pull this four times harder than I pulled so far. So it still could, it could, yeah. be, it could be good. Give it your all this time. Yeah. I've been, I've been, you know, kind of going easy on you. So what are we doing? S scenario. Bad guy sniper down range right here. I'm good guy mannequin over there. And he says, don't move or I'll shoot you. And uh -huh. I say, I think I'll, I can outrun him. So I have the jump, okay. and you have to react to it. <laughs> All right? So you get ready, and I'll get ready. Don't move, or I'll shoot. <laughs> Bad guy sniper. He's dead. <laughs> you didn't even follow the rules. <laughs> oh, sit back up. Got it. <laughs> Uh, and the speed it went through was 68 feet per second. Just kidding, Roman actually chunked a piece of brass through there. This did not register when the 50 cal went through. Hang on, I gotta fast. beat it, I gotta beat Can it. Beat oh, it? this one's hot, this one's fresh. Oh, that was the one, huh? I'm gonna hit the screen, dude. I'm probably gonna hit it, it's just gonna bounce back at our eyes. Oh, what is it? What is? It said duo one. Duo one. All right, let's duo two. How do they know we're duoing? 94? Woo! All right. Accurately 94. Dang oh it. <laughs> you put a dent in it. Error. To, oh, no, oh, it almost made it through. It went through the first one. 84. Dang. I mean, uh, 184. Holy cow. Let's go look at that, guys. Right in the clavicle. Oh, dude. Oh, the back looks amazing. Whoa. What the? It's all the, it hit the metal, and then that's all the fragmentation wow. coming off the metal right there. It's like one of them sun tattoos, bro. <laughs> yep, you got him. What an absolute beast. So which hit was it? Oh, it's that. <laughs> oh my god. Almost missed. Oh, dude, that's crazy. Well, I guess that's where his no, chest yeah, was. Yeah, he was just higher, so you yeah. shot right in the chest right there, but barely hit that, and hit it enough to knock the whole thing over. I would say our test is very, very conclusive that you absolutely cannot dodge a bullet. You sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's a subsonic and you're sort of cheating. So, yeah, um, if you're thinking about dodging a bullet like I was, probably just shouldn't get an Epps predicament. For the record. it's a lot of energy. That is crazy. That whole thing just tipped over. He's not that, also for the record, he's not that strong. I'm going all in. That's your five bucks when we get this tattoo right here in this spot. That's a hot tat, dude. All right, next video, we're getting <laughs> matching tattoos right here. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. Go watch Roman that one. I love you. <laughs> See you next time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs>